Okay, so this is the bubble sort of a 2D array. Uh, this program is made totally inside the main function. Our program has the function to sort a 2D array in an increasing sequence using bubble sort. Uh, first of all, we create a 2D array and we assign values. We can see it in here. Here's where we created the array. And in this case, we have uh, created a 2D array with three rows and five columns, which means uh, that we have an array that has three rows with five elements each. Our goal is to sort each row of this array from the smallest to the largest element. After this, we output the array before sorting it to compare it with the final result. And here is where we print the array before being sorted. And it's basically just going to print the uh, elements of the array as they are in here. But before continuing with the algorithm, I also want to show uh, how we find the, uh, the number of total rows. And we find them by defining uh, the size of the entire array with the size of the first row. And we find the number of the total columns by dividing uh, the size of the first row with the size of the first element, or basically just any element will do. Uh, we also create a temporary value to be able to swap elements inside the array later on. And here are some other variables that we're going to use uh, later on the program. So this is our actual algorithm. Uh, this is what we use to sort the array. Uh, we need three for loops in order to perform the bubble sort of a 2D array. Uh, I like to to start from the third loop. Uh, this is a for loop to go over the whole row only once. And here we have an if statement inside this loop to perform the swapping of two adjacent elements if they are in the wrong order. So uh, basically uh, we go over the whole row and we check if an element, if the current element is is greater than the upcoming element, then we perform the swapping. Uh, because, as I said, we need to have the uh, array sorted in the increasing order. So here's where we use our temporary uh, variable. We assign our current uh, element in the temporary value which is the biggest number and then we can again we can assign it to the upcoming uh, element so yeah we assign the uh, current element to the temporary value and then we assign the uh, next uh, element to the current one and then we assign the temporary value to the next one this makes the this makes the swapping and as I said we do this uh, only once for the whole row uh, then the second for loop uh, helps us perform the swapping that happens in the third loop repeatedly until the whole row is sorted so this is what we use uh, to go over the row repeatedly until it is sorted and then we have the first loop and then the f on the first for loop, we just uh, go over the rows. So after we finish sorting the first row, we go to the second, and we go to the to the third. In our case, as we can see, h is less than the rows number, which it is three. After we finish the sorting, uh, we print the result. And let's see. So after running the program, we can clearly see that this is the 2D array before being sorted. Uh, it is the same as this one in here. And we also have the 2D array after being sorted. As you can see, all the elements are in the correct order.